Hey, friends. Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad you're joining us today. I have got a really amazing, super cool. This is called a book find explosion card. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if this has ever been invented before. Maybe I came up with a new idea. You know how it is. Sometimes we dream it. Did we dream it because it's a new idea or is it brand new? So let me show you what a book binding explosion card is. Here's the book bind part. Okay. Here's the explosion part. So we're just going to unfold to create this really fun card. All right. We've got a place to write our message. If you guys have some of this um, B paper, let's see, what is this one called? This was the Be Mine Designer Series paper. I've got a use for you. And remember, that one doesn't have to be Valentine. And then I've got another one with the Hello Irresistible. Do you notice this one is a little bit smaller? So this is done with a six by six. So we're going to do two different cards. And I'm going to show you two different ways. So this was an eight by eight. And this was a six by six piece of designer series paper. And we're going to get started. I'm going to grab my coffee. And I'm going to bring on Christina who is over there on Facebook with you. She'll be answering any of your questions and comments there. Brenda, who went back to Idaho. <sighs> I did. Over on YouTube, answering your comments over on YouTube. Welcome, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I have to make a quick comment. I got a, a message on one of my live videos. Too much talking. Sorry. Oh, and I was like, well, I get it. Um, but I just thought I would just kind of address that. Friends, this is a live video. And one of the things we all enjoy about a live, well, all except somebody, <laughs> is that it's bringing us together. It's that sense of community, sharing, chatting. So that is why we do this little bit of just, you know, chatter, chatter at the begin of a, beginning of a live. But I do want to let you know, if this is not your cup of tea and the chatter, I get it. Just scroll forward until you see my hands and we will get to stamping. Okay, I promise. But this really is just about kind of coming together as um, a group of stampers from all over the world. We love we love this opportunity to chat and share with you guys and just have have a little time to be real. Plus, it gives everyone a chance to get onto the live. Right. Because and we get to see each other because it's been days. days. I know. Exactly. <laughs> Long days. <laughs> so yesterday was my birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. To week. And I wanted to just take a quick minute. I got some of the most incredible cards from you guys, Easter and Easter and birthday. And I just wanted to say thank you. I cannot tell you how blessed I was. And Grandma Jane, I know you're watching your card blew me away my husband saw it this morning and he's like this is cool i should have brought it upstairs it's downstairs so maybe christine will have a chance to bring it up it was an amazing card it was a little pink camper and uh some kind of like i think it was like a little Volkswagen. oh my gosh it was adorable and he was like the so detail cute. in this card let me grab it anyway yeah anyway fantastic and so thank you guys so much um for all the birthday wishes and the easter wishes and uh, so i have kind of a funny i have a funny story about your birthday what so i wished you a happy birthday on tuesday because i thought tuesday was wednesday because you know i've been traveling and my days are all messed up i get a text from sharon armstrong and she says is today connie's birthday and i'm like yes and she said i had i thought it was the 30th i'm like no it's today so later she texts me and she says so her birthday is tomorrow. Is tomorrow? I'm like, no, it's the 27th, and she's like, which is tomorrow. <laughs> so happy birthday, you know, all week. This is Hi. our card from Grandma Jane. Oh, there we go. Oh. I mean, it is so cute. And That's like I said, terrible. Rich, Mr. Awesome, he was just wow. like, wow, mm -hmm. this has so much detail. So anyway, just had to share that card. I absolutely loved it. But um, well, and I have a story to share about your birthday okay. as well. Um, so a couple months, maybe about a month ago, um, my aunt, mom's sister, Sheila, sent me an email. She loves digging into our ancestry history. And so she's recently gotten DNA samples from mom so that we can kind of find out a little bit more about our history. And she did some searching and found out 
that one of our relatives is the Carol Burnett. The she legendary is, Carol Burnett, the GOAT, She is the greatest of your all time. eighth cousin twice removed, right? And uh, my yeah. eighth cousin three times removed. Yeah. So, wow. yeah. <laughs> and We're you're cousins. a Carol Burnett fan. <laughs> oh, you guys, I am the biggest Carol Burnett fan. We have every single episode of the Carol Burnett show on DVD. That Love exists. It. Love yeah. her. And so this was kind of funny. On my Facebook feed this morning, you know how you get your memories that pop up? Well, a memory from five years ago popped up. And it was the cast of Noises Off starring Christina Stewart and Jenny Stewart and Connie Stewart. And I was playing the role of Dottie, which in the movie was played by the legendary Carol Burnett. So that means I'm related to Nana. You know, that's why she tugs on her ears to say hello to her Nana. So mm -hmm. I think I should be able to do that now because, <laughs> I mean, we're related. And every every live with a tug on the ear. <laughs> so again, cannot <laughs> even begin to tell you how excited I was when I learned this news. I'm actually related to her. <laughs> Carol, and with like, that, you should probably start making cards. Good. We Lord. should start making cards. We're just going to okay. fangirl forever. <laughs> I could, let me tell you. All right. You guys ready? Yes. Let's, yeah. I got to put the coffee down. We are going to head over. Let's see what we got. Okay. So you've had a chance to see the cards. Um, I'm not really going to go over measurements too much today. But as always, I've got your free download. All right. Everything that you need is going to be there in your free download. Um, all your measurements, photos, so that you'll be able to recreate the card. This is one you really may need to come back and watch the video again, just because of cutting and things like that. You can just scan or click the QR code, depending on what device you're on. Uh, you'll be able to do that. And of course, you can always get the supplies I used um, and you'll be able to get that. Find your free download at simplysimplestamping.com, or if you look in the YouTube description, you're going to find a direct link, and uh, Brenda and Christina will put that link up for you as well. Okay, shall we get started? We're going to start with our B card, all right? And this is the one that uses an eight and a half, or sorry, an eight by eight piece of designer series paper. Now, what I love about using an eight by eight is that means it left me four inches and that's great to use as a layer. So I'll be able to um, create some more cards without a lot of waste. So we're going to create with our fabulous B paper. We've got those really great flowers on the back. My stamp set is going to be the Good Feelings stamp set. Um, you can use whatever you want, but I love this. I'm so happy and sending sunshine and good feelings your way. All right. It worked great for this one. Okay, friends. I'm actually going to start with the card base. Now, this is Daffodil Delight, four and a quarter by 11 inches. I have it scored, this is kind of weird, with the 11 inches up at the top, I'm scoring at four and a quarter and five and a half. Okay, so that's gonna create our book binding. This is leaving us a four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and that's what we want. So, really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive right there on that panel. Okay, and we're going to tear that down. Now we've got our book bound card. Um, I'm going to do my stamping next. And oh, Bonnie's here. She says, Hi, Connie from Janesville, Wisconsin. I'm so glad you're joining us. Thank you, Bonnie. I got a little sweet sorbet ink, and we're going to take that. I'm just so happy for you. And we will stamp that right there in the center of our card. All right. Oh, and then let's see. Oh, uh, Rebecca says, happy birthday. Oh, I appreciate that, Rebecca. Thanks so much. Uh, all right, we're gonna take this really quick. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere it onto this black card stuff. Now, I'm not gonna go to the edges because I'm actually gonna be trimming this down. Remember these measurements, you're going to find them on that free download. I got a little four by four uh, piece of designer series paper. Remember when I talked about that extra that you're going to have? Well, we're going to use a little bit of that. And that's going to be here for the front. So now I'm going to adhere this at an angle. Okay. So 
just some adhesive there. Adhere that onto your designer series paper. And we'll just trim this away. All right, I'm going to get my comments back up here. I got scrolled. <laughs> oh, I love it. Margie says, absolutely. They don't have to watch. I know. I mean, it's it's about, I love being able to join you guys. And for me, it really is all about just this time together. And as much as I love doing the pre-recorded videos, I really like being with you guys live. It just has a totally different vibe than anything else. So thank you guys for joining me. I really do appreciate you. All right. So I want to make sure I can kind of see that fold there because I'm going to center this up. Brenda taught me a great trick. If you'll line it up on three sides, your fourth side will always be good. As long as you cut your cards or your paper correctly. I've got a little strip here and I'm going to use the opposite side on this one. And uh, this is a one by four, but it just gives me a little burst of color there on the side. And you know, if you didn't have any extra paper, you could always stamp a little something on there, whatever you need to do. Okay. Oh, goodness. We're here on the front. Let's go ahead and add a little black gingham bow. By the way, this ribbon is retiring. And you guys know it's one of my favorites. Okay, the front of our card is done. Now we're going to work on um, some more stamping. I have got a piece of sweet sorbet. Let me set that off to the side because really I'm going to work on my basic white. You're going to have two of these, all right? And these are three and a half by three and a half. Let me grab my memento black. And we are going to take... Um, that great big sending, what am I doing? I am sending, I gotta, I don't remember what it says, and it's upside down. <laughs> okay, sending sunshine and good feelings your way. You know, when it's right side up, it's a lot easier to tell you what it says. All right, we're gonna stamp that on that three and a half by three and a half. All right, I'm going to adhere that onto my sweet sorbet. By the way, I've got another three and a half by three and a half and three and a quarter by three and a quarter sweet sorbet. And really easy. You're just going to adhere them together. All right. Friends, I got one more little bit of stamping. This is, um, well, it's kind of a scrap, but this is a one and three quarters by five and a half. And we're going to take the stamps that say hip, hip, hooray. And the first one, I'm going to kind of stamp down here on the left side. Crooked. Let's flip it over. Too much coffee. I told Christina it was a two cup of coffee day and that may have been a mistake. All right. Hip, hip. Real quick, Connie. Yeah. You did get a comment from Sheila Breeden saying <gasps> happy birthday to my favorite and most talented sister. Oh, I love you, Sheila. I love that she tunes in. She's so sweet. Thank you. Best present Ever. And I got a car for my birthday. Really, I didn't. I just needed to get a new car. <laughs> it just happened to fall around my birthday. Okay, we are going to trim this away. This is why I had you cut a five and a half. And this is why I didn't have you cut all the way at the end. All right, just simple, simple cutting. All right, nothing, nothing big. And I'm going to set that off to the side because friends, stamping is done. All right magic time. Now it's time to bring in this uh, designer series paper. All right, here we go. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in the vertical position, all right, because I want to be able to see that my paper's in the vertical position. Um, if you have paper that has a definite pattern, make sure you follow this. If you were to mess up, don't worry, because there's there's still a way that you'll be able to manipulate your paper, all right? So, but, you know, we, we kind of want to do our best that we have it in this position. Now, this is eight inches, so we're going to score it. So I'm going to get my paper cutter out of the way. I'm going to score it at four inches. I'm going to rotate it around and score it at four inches, okay? Now, the cut that we have to make is going to be in that vertical position, four inches up to that next four inch score line. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this back in four inches. Now I'm gonna cut 
And I'm going to bring this up until that tick mark is right there at the four inches. Should you cut a little bit beyond it, it's fine. Don't stress over it, okay? So this is what we have, all right? I'm going to move this out of the way. And we are going to start to fold. So we're going to start at the bottom left and crease that down. Then we're going to flip it over. Just kind of line that up, crease it. And now we're going to flip it down and crease it. So let me do that for you one more time. So it's just bottom left, one, two, and three. If you don't get that perfect, don't worry. It's, you know, as long as it opens, all right? We have no stress, no stress when we do this. All right, so this flap, this will be the last one. So this is the one on the bottom right, okay? That's the one we want to put adhesive on. And we're going to add that. I'm going to do a little bit of extra just because this card actually has a little bit of movement, all right? So I'm going to bring in my card, open that up, and add that right there. Now, remember our two hip hip hoorays? Let's go ahead and add those because that's going to go here on the front. And which one do I like better? Yeah, I think I like the other one. So we are going to say hip hip. Hooray. I'm going to open up my card and I'm going to take that stamp sending smiles your way. We're going to put that in the upper left corner. Kind of want to find my score line there. It's hard with this busy paper, so I'm going to give it a fold. Yep, we're good there. This is the one you're going to write your message on. So we have a message on the inside, but our written message will go right here. And you are welcome to move these around. These don't have to go this way. But guys, boom. Done. Super cute, right? I just think this card is fun. Judy says, Connie, it's so nice to do the extra work um, for everyone. She's a crafter's treasure. Oh, thank you, Judy. That is so sweet. Oh, my hey, gosh. Con hey, yeah. Connie. We have a Connie on here that said, happy belated birthday from West Lafayette, Indiana. <gasps> you know, that's where my husband and I met. <laughs> wow. You know, we, we could talk because there are so many great places in Lafayette that we miss. The chocolate shop and um, um, what was it? It was called the Triple X. And they made this really amazing root beer. It's not what you think, guys. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> it is not. It is just a really good place to eat. Oh, fun, fun. Thank you, Connie. I appreciate that. Okay, we are going to create the next card. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing great. Okay, so this one, what makes it different? Do you see this is just smaller? And I just added a layer of flirty flamingo in the background to kind of help it. And my fold is different. Because remember what I just said? It really doesn't matter. But I want my flowers going um, up and down. Because when I did it the other way, well, if I had done it this way, that meant my flowers were upside down. That's why I say, don't, don't stress over it, all right? It really does not matter. It can open any which way. So we're going to make this really great thank you card. So before we create our book bind, this one, well, first, let me get, I have a little piece, little piece of that designer series paper, a little one by four. I'm going to add that to the side. And this card has um, a little bit of ribbon on it and a dog hair. That's a nice bonus feature. Thank you, Tugger. He's bound and determined to be a part of a live, isn't he? That pup of mine. Okay, so I've got two pieces of pecan pie bordered ribbon. Um, again, another ribbon that is going away. I love it. Guys, get it before it's gone. Um, I went ahead, forgive me, I went ahead and adhered my um, flirty flamingo. That's a four by four. I went ahead and added that to the inside of my card. Just because I wasn't sure how long this would take. <laughs> okay, I am going to adhere that. That's a little bit long. 
there's no right or wrong. I'm not even sure how long these were. Um, as long as it'll fit, um, be at least like maybe six inches is about right. And because I've got that rib in there, really want to make sure that will the book bind will hold. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to take my other ribbon. Again, probably much longer than I needed, but we are just simply going to tie it in a knot. Let me get my ribbon scissors. You remember last week's live? I think it was on last week's live. I had to use my good scissors to cut paper. <laughs> Ooh, I know you let me use them. That's like the I most know. amazing best friend ever. Right? It really is. It truly is. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead. We're going to do some stamping. And for this card, I have some Petal Pink Pecan Pie and Soft Sea Foam. I'm going to start with the Pecan Pie on this card. My stamp set, one of my favorites. This is one of the online exclusives. Honestly, I think this is one of the very first online exclusives. Um, Irresistible Blooms. Fabulous set. Joanne, happy belated birthday, Connie. What kind of car did you get? All right. So I got a Hyundai Tucson. Do you say Hyundai? Hyundai? I don't know. Uh, Tucson hybrid. I got uh, Brenda drives the Kia Sportage, which is the exact same car. Um, only this is the sister company. So we kind of joke that we have we have matchy matchy cars um but i drove hers a little bit and kind of fell in love with it and we have been talking about getting a new car and when i found out that you don't have to plug in a hybrid which i thought i did um that kind of convinced me so i always thought you had to plug in a hybrid but you know i don't know cars but i do now so yeah it was very exciting um all right so there's my stamped image you guys can see i just added the little leaves there just like we did before, I'm going to make sure my, my designer series paper is straight up. We'll add adhesive down there. Again, it's going at an angle, just making sure my leaves stay in there. We are going to trim that down. And yeah, we're not big ones to buy um, new cars very often. I tend to drive my cars forever um, until they die, but it kind of worked out interesting in our house. So my daughter, Jenny, is going to buy my car, which is five years old, and Christina is going to buy Jenny's car, and we're hoping that uh, Christina's boyfriend, Matt, will be able to buy her car. So we just all, do, 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 just everybody got taken care of. <laughs> okay, so like I told you, we have our flirty flamingo in there. All I can think of is that person who said, too much talking. Yeah. It's what we do. Okay, we're gonna do one more bit of stamping. Um, I have got a two and a half by two and a half. Remember, this has to be smaller because our designer series paper is smaller. Coming back in with my pecan pie, I will stamp thank you up at the top. Guys, I am loving this pecan pie color. Absolutely gorgeous. I am so glad Stamp on it brought in this color. Little petal pink. Speaking of petal pink, when Brenda was here last week, we got to go to the Stampin' Up! on stage convention. We got to see the new in colors. Oh, they are so beautiful. And there is one called Peach Pie that is going to look absolutely stunning with this um, petal pink. Cannot wait for you guys to see it. Okay, added a little leaf on there. Nothing super fancy, but it's going to allow us to say thank you, which goes so well with my, I couldn't be happier to have you as my friend. I'm going to add that. Again, just like before, I've got another one um, there on my petal pink. That's going to be for where I'm going to write my message. Really small. Okay, here we go. We're going to do this again because the measurements are a little bit different. So, um... I want to open this one, my other one, because I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, vertical, right? We've got it in the vertical position. Moving my paper trimmer. We're going to score at three inches this time and three inches, all right? So just score it in half. Bring it back to your three inches in the vertical position. But this time we're going to cut to the 
three inch mark. Okay. There's my cut. And again, whatever paper you decide to use, uh, definitely I want you guys just do your thing. So for this one, I'm going to start at the top right. I mean, here's the thing. Where you start, you know what? I think I need it just a tiny bit more. That's why I said if you go a little bit beyond, it's fine. I just wanted a little bit more there. Okay. So we are going to just start to fold and score. And there's my last one. See, I wanted those flowers. If your paper is a little bit different, again, don't stress over it because you can manipulate this any way you want. If you need this to go this way, don't, don't, don't get yourself put into a box. Okay. So real quick, Connie, yeah. um, Kathy said the download sheet shows four by four, not three by three score marks. Oh no. Okay. Thank you. I will go get that fixed. So I'll tell you what, if you guys will give me, thank you so much for letting me know that. Um, okay. I, okay. I'm not sure. I didn't know that was in the actual download. Um, Brenda, you've got it there. Can you tell me if it's in the download or I just did it wrong on my blog? Yeah, I'm looking at it. So guys, I've just um, added the adhesive to that back panel. Okay, so I'm just looking at that right now. So it's under the irresistible blooms. We have the DSP at six by six, four by four, and one by four. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yeah, that is correct because there's the four by four, and this was the six by six. Gotcha. I'm just not sure where I said in a download that you're going to score it. I didn't think I had the scoring on there. Um, I'm going to check that. No, I don't see the scoring at all. Okay, okay. Not a problem, but thank you. I always appreciate it when you guys let me know that I have a, a measurement error. There's a lot going on when we do these. So thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that. Okay, we're going to open this up. We're going to add our pieces. Again, just reminding you, there's no right or wrong. Um, the only thing that would be wrong is if your flowers were upside down, because that would be weird. So that's the only thing you really have to look at. And you always, oh, I think this one might be, it's running out of adhesive. I'm down to the end. Woo. Good thing I'm on my last card, right guys? Okay. There's where I can write my message. Now, you know what? I got to tell you, this paper was light enough. I could have written my message all over this if I wanted to, but we are going to fold, fold, and fold. And with that, we have got another really fantastic book binding explosion card. I'm going to bring in my first one. And let you see that one again. Hip, hip, hooray. Sending sunshine and good feelings your way. It rhymes. Hello. It's perfect. All right. Hey, I want to show you really quickly the cards we're going to create next week. I saw this layout um, on Pinterest. And guys, I, I could not find out who it was from, but it was a fabulous layout. And we're going to do some interesting embossing. So I'm going to do heat embossing, one of my favorites. But do you see, we heat embossed white on the bubble bath, and then we embossed in bubble bath on this layer. Oh, yep, we're going to do something really fun. Um, and it's a sketch. So I took that sketch. I turned it around to make one for a masculine card. I've got, I think this is called Twisted Rope. So I did dry embossing for a simple Father's Day card, a little dry embossing there as well. So we're going to create these two cards next week. I hope that you will join me for that. And um, with that, my friends, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's live. Thank you for chatting with us. I appreciate that. And um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. It's, oh, I need to make one quick reminder. Creative Eight uh, Retreat registration is happening now. It has started. Um, the retreat will take place April 19th and 20th. If you will just go to Simply Simple Stamping, look up at the top. It says Creative 8 Retreat. Check it out. It is such an amazing weekend that we have set aside just for you that you are going to stamp all weekend. At the top of every hour, you're going to get a brand new um, stamping presentation by the Creative 8 team. That's Brandy Cox, Sharon Armstrong, Jackie Bullheis, and myself. We are really excited about this one. You're going to get amazing cards. 
And the biggest thing that we want you to know, you're going to use what you have. You do not need to buy anything to participate in this event. Um, we like to teach you how to use what you got. So be sure to check that out at simplysimplestamping.com. And while you're there, don't forget your free download that goes along with today's video. And uh, if you like today's video, give me a thumbs up share with your friends, subscribe. We'd love to have you. We share twice a week here on the channel. So with that, I'm really going to stop talking and uh, have a fantastic one. Send a card to someone and brighten their day. See you next time. Bye.